books. I'm at base boot camp and it is absolutely amazing. So we're trying a life thing here, guys. Okay, here we go. All right, you can't see my students, but they can see you. Okay, cool. Hi. I, I am here with the musical director of the shenanigans last night, and he's also the one hurting us key teachers. <laughs> this is Rob Smith, everybody. Hello, hi, um, everybody. And I have uh, I gave some links to Fred, so he's going to post who you are so that people can who have right, not cool. come across you yet can find out more about you. Rob is a mind-blowing my, uh, bass player. He has a, um, a version out of um, My Life. Yeah, in My Life, yeah. By the Beatles that he's tapping that's absolutely mind blowing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wanna don't even know just where to start with you. Can you tell a little bit about the history of you and the camp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I was I originally came to the base boot camp as a student. I think it was around 2003, 2004. And uh, at the end of the camp, Gerald asked everybody, "Hey, what do you want to be doing in five years?" So a lot of students were like, "I want to be on this tour. I want to be playing with this artist. I want to be a release a solo album." And what I wrote down on my paper was, in five years, I want to teach at the base boot camp. So five years later, Gerald's doing a clinic, and I go to the clinic. And at the time, I was doing a ton of solo bass stuff. I still do. But at the time, I was really, you know, really focused on solo bass. And I did a lot of two-hand tapping and stuff uh, and, you know, did some playing with Gerald. And after the clinic, he's like, hey, you want to come teach at the base boot camp? So it was exactly five years after I was a student at the base boot camp, I got to start teaching. And as the years have gone on, I've just done more and more, more classes. And uh, now I'm the musical director of the, the concerts, uh, the boot camp, and also the educational director and wrangling all the teachers and the students. And uh, it's, it's an amazing experience. And I'm so happy to have worked with, you know, all these great, you know, bass teachers this year. We have Ari, who's phenomenal, just an absolutely incredible teacher. Uh, Scott Ambush, Tony Gray, Michael Mannering, just this uh, in incredible, incredible musicians, incredible teachers. And to get to work with them, and have uh, conversations about bass and music and education. It's it's great for the camp and it's also great for me. You know, like like leading up to the camp, I get to ask them, "Hey, how do you think about scales? How do you think about modes? How do you think about chord changes? How do you think about arpeggios? What kind of like exercise do you do for technique?" And part of it is to get ready for the camp, and part of it is to give me stuff the woodshed. So it's 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 a great experience for me. Uh, Bob was also so kind to. Uh, review the pattern system okay. book mm -hmm. and i just saw there's a, a pattern system question that okay. came in so um you know this whole idea of the pattern book i mean you uh you reviewed the thing and looked at it um and just this this idea of systematic teaching so do you want to talk a little bit about um you know methods you use you like to use in your teaching when you put together programs and such sure definitely yeah i i I'm very thorough. Uh, I, I have hundreds and hundreds of pages of PDFs and, and sheet music I've written over the years. And my whole approach is always trying to build from very, very simple concepts and then making them gradually more complex. Uh, there aren't that many possible one beat rhythms you can play, right? But there are nearly infinite two bar rhythms you can play, right? Uh, by mastering little bits of music, by you know mastering small pieces of rhythm or small pieces of harmony, um, it can lead to extremely complex music, but it's always like logical building blocks, taking uh, things that almost anyone can grasp and combining them in ways where they, they eventually become more and more complex. And it's just, you know, practicing, uh, adding them together and, and, you know, adding complexity and putting your own spin on it. One of the things I love is that, especially with like things like rhythm, I will never play every four bar rhythm, right? I would have to play a different rhythm every second for a thousand years to play you know, so so even oh, yeah, even my beginner students will probably play four bar rhythms at some point that I will never play. And that's that's brilliant. Like, that's uh, amazing that, you know, everyone can, can be creative and come up with things that, you know, not everyone can play. But it all starts with simple building blocks. And and, and I play through all of uh, Ari's pattern book. And, that, and that's what I kind of love is that um, learning uh, a basic scale is not that crazy. Just learning a major scale. That's that's not that much information. You can learn that in a day. But to really master the patterns and really master the fretboard, it takes, you know, a, a lot of work, but that work has to be systematic. You know, you can't just say like, okay, I learned one major scale and now I'm going to learn the entire neck. Like I'm going to get every single thing down. You have to have a system. You have to like break it down and say, okay, I know the patterns in the open position, or I know this key. I can move this around. I have these, these fingerings that are really consistent. Um, but that's one of the things I love about the book is that it gives you the building blocks and it's, it's really logical. And I always tell every, everyone who, who gets this book, don't just skip to the musical examples, right? This is a, a really important thing because I've done this before in the past. Um, I have a library, a, a home of probably 300 music books. 
And I, I've been guilty of that before where it's like, I just play the musical examples and I skip the words. If you get the pattern book, do not do not skip the words. Like there's so much wisdom, so much uh, just, just knowledge about how to approach your practice sessions. And, and that's some of the most important stuff in the book. So, so yeah, make, make sure you know, you're reading everything too. Doing the, the examples, but really read those words because there's a ton of wisdom. And, and you can tell that you know, Ari has a, a lot of experience teaching students and she's developed over the years you know, what the, you know, any of the common problems she's faced or any of the common problems her students have faced, you know, she has the solutions in, in the written words. So yeah, I, I recommend the book. It's, it's, it's fantastic. And I, I played through the whole thing twice actually now, because like, because she sent me the spiral bound book and I played through it again after. <laughs> so thanks so much, Rob. I appreciate that. What should we tell people about camp? Uh, the base boot camp has been going on for around 20 years and we've had uh, most of my musical idols come through. We've had, you know, Marcus Miller was here today. We've had Victor Wooten in the past, Michael Mannering's here. Uh, we've had some of the best bass players on the planet come and teach. And the biggest kind of most important thing is the spirit of the camp. Uh, obviously the teachers are, are, are pro level players and they're great, but they're all very open uh, with education. Like, like none of them have any secrets. None of them have any like, like, Hey, you, you know, I'm not going to show you this technique. Everyone's extremely open. And the, the spirit of the camp is amazing because you, you have your class classes, but you also will encounter the teachers in the hallways and just say like, hey, you know, there was one thing you were talking about. And pretty much everyone's always open to discuss, you know, any anything, you know, just just like, hey, did you, you, you not know that that arpeggio? Let's get into it. Let's play it. And, and, you know, now that Ari's been here in person, I think she's probably feeling it that there's just an amazing spirit to the camp. Like everyone just really cares about uh, e each other and, you know, all the all the teachers are like you know really into the educational part of it but all the students are, are really into helping each other and making sure everyone uh is learning and just just having a, a great time it's called the base boot camp and it's a lot of work but it's not like a boot camp atmosphere it's like a family atmosphere it's it's really like kind of a loving caring atmosphere and we have long days like yesterday was 8 a.m till midnight you know like there's a lot of stuff going on there's class you know multiple classes and in a concert and uh, and then classes after the concert, you know, I mean, it was, it was a really long thing, but, but the whole atmosphere is just like this really kind, uh, sharing atmosphere and, uh, you'll learn a lot and you'll work hard, but it's, but it's, it's an awesome environment. So yeah, I would definitely recommend if anybody wants to come, we're, we're planning on doing another one in March and, uh, you know, hopefully that happens and, you know, we would love to have you. Yeah, definitely. This is an amazing experience. And, you know, I, I, I see this, this thread going through so many people, you know, who have a story like yourself, you know. I, in, in a way, got started at a camp, you know, with, with, with Victor many years ago and then with Steve Bailey, you know, and it seems like you have a similar story, too. Yeah, so yeah, these yeah. camps, they can really open doors and, and perspectives that are yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I went to the, the second base at the beach. Yeah. Yeah, I, think, I think Steve only did two of those, but yeah, I was at one of the base at the beach camps, too. And, and uh, yeah, the, those, those, those early camps were, were amazing. And, and it's really cool seeing, like, where some of the students are from those camps. You know, like, like so many of the people that, that I know that I met from this camp are all like working professional musicians now. So it's you know, really, really great experiences. Thank you so much you. for stopping by and the info and for, for, for hosting us here today. <laughs> so thanks so Thank much. You.